Earth Biohacking, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 282. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 282, August 19th, 2018 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to create self replicating, sustainable teacher demonstration hubs to be built around the world and lead the planet to global sustainability. Today, what I'd like to talk about is earth biohacking. It's one of the things that One Community is doing. We are taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing. Everybody's familiar with those. And we're combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as fulfilled living practices, true earth stewardship practices, highest good education models, highest good economic models. And we're putting all these things together to create an evolution of sustainability that we see as a path to earth biohacking, creating a self-serving reason for people to take care of the planet and to help each other and to create a world, finally, that truly works for everybody and within our lifetime. And we believe that if we can make this easy enough, to demonstrate as affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And that is the self-replicating aspect of our project. And we call it Earth Biohacking because everything that you see happening in the background of the video here is years of our work, all 100% volunteer, nonprofit organization and team working to create a sustainable way to live truly and ethically in integrity with our environment, with each other, and as a path to transforming the planet positively and permanently for the benefit of everyone and everything living here. And so we call that earth biohacking. We can build sustainable housing. At this point, the technology exists, the will exists. We can build sustainable water systems. We can create healthier air, healthier food for each other, and more psychologically sustainable environments as well. And that is the emotional sustainability aspect of what we're doing. And through creating this, we can create better ways of living that are also better for each other. Our idea is to demonstrate a way of living that most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now, that lowers the overhead of living, that provides more free time for people to do the things that they want to do, and more things for people to do with that time, while also integrating a global transformation foundation. And one community's team is dedicated to that to creating a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. And we know that this is possible because with our prototype model, with the first model, if the first model can inspire just two more groups to start within the first year, and if those two groups in the original group, three groups, can inspire four more the year after that, and eight more the year after that, and 16 more the year after that, 32 after that. If you do that multiplication process and you carry it out, and these are groups of anywhere from 20 to 50 people all the way up to thousands, which is where one community is going with our prototype. Thousands of people and hosting hundreds of thousands of people. This is where we're going with this. If we, through this process of open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for everything you see happening in the background of this video, and so much more that is on our website, covering all aspects of do-it-yourself, food production, do-it-yourself, housing, do-it-yourself, energy infrastructure, as well as the social architecture aspects, the highest good economic models, the highest good education models, putting all these things together to demonstrate a way of living that most people consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. If we can create that and demonstrate it's easy enough and affordable enough and attractive enough to become self-replicating, then we can change the world. We can change the world positively and permanently for everybody, and we see that as the ultimate earth biohack. Building sustainably building in cohesion with Earth's natural systems, creating a human ecology that grooves and melds and meshes without resistance with the current Earth environment, working together collaboratively and cooperatively as a species with nature, instead of coming in and destroying everything and building something new, instead coming in and integrating with what already exists, becoming the stewards that we believe humanity is meant to be. It's meant to be our ultimate calling to steward Earth, 
to be intelligent, ethical, and conscientious stewards, caretakers of our planet and everything that's alive and living here and sharing it with us. And so one community is meant to be a model for that. It doesn't have to be a model for that. And our open source highest good philosophy is to be non-ideological about our approach. But our goal, our personal goal as an organization is specifically that. And we're open sourcing and free sharing it so that people with different values, different goals, different intent can still use our blueprints and do it differently. But the core value, our core goal is earth biohacking in a way that benefits all life and all people on this planet. And so this is what One Community is creating. Everything you see in the background here is related to that. And everything I'm about to report on is also related to that. So with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal, Earth Biohacking, and uh, our all-volunteer unpaid team. This is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working with Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, finished the final PDF review of the Seven Villages book we're developing and sent it off to the printer for an initial print draft. You can see some of our editing process here. Michael then integrated all of the edits. He also finished final creation and edits for these four pages, which are all now integrated onto the website also. The core team also created these updated renders for the open source Murphy Bed Furniture preview image. This included adding new objects, updating the texture of the wall lights, and adding a loft light for rendering with the bed up and down. Mike Kowalski, game developer, finished his 16th week helping update our renders that are too big for anything but a gaming computer. Mike continued working on the Earthbag Village and finished the render you see here. Mike also contributed these images to the open source Murphy Bed Furniture preview image. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his 17th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed instructions and finished the graphic by integrating the images we just shared and also finished another round of instruction edits integration for the back changing and storage area. What you see here is where the assembly instructions are so far for this component and we'd say we're about 80% complete with this part of these instructions. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, also joined the team working on the Earthbag Village here is weekly update 126 from Dean. His focus this week was this initial AutoCAD work for alternative floor plan options for the homes we'll be building as part of this village. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, additionally completed his 24th week working on the compressed earth block village render editions. This week he began initial people and object editions for this earth block village second floor outdoor perspective looking east. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued rebuilding the city center geodesic dome in 3D. This week, we continued the shell structure process where we redid and solved parts length errors to finish row five as shown here. The core team working with Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 90th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was finalizing the lighting test shown here for the fourth floor cupola. This image is now on the website also. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her 18th week helping with the duplicate city center materials and costs. This week's focus was first version of the total cost analysis and detailed cost analysis for the footing concrete and basement slab concrete, and making changes to the cement mortar cost analysis details. Doa Feng, civil engineer, also completed a 16th week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the duplicate city center sprinkler and emergency systems open source hub. This week's focus was writing content, AutoCAD updates, and creating imagery and charts used to update another 20 pages of the tutorial, some of which you can see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, 
part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we finalized the worm information and reviewed and completed edits of the soil amendment section. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team finished work on the Surpassing Educational Standards page by adding the rest of the content, finishing the formatting, and inserting all the graphics. You can see some of this work here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Well, there you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments building the foundations of earth biohacking, open sourcing and free sharing everything necessary to ethically and conscientiously and consciously earth biohack in a way that will create a world that truly works for everybody. If you'd like more details, more specifics, uh, links to all the open source content that we talked about here and so much more, visit our website, visit our written blog. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. And uh, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, give us a like. The easiest way to help us out, of course, is to support us through social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make that as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn. We're on Facebook, we're on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, Pinterest, Instagram, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to share our information on social media uh, with whatever social media platform you prefer. And of course, uh, if you're somebody who's donated to us, thank you very much. As I said before, we're 100% volunteer unpaid staff, so 100% of donations go towards forwarding our open mission, open source mission. Uh, they don't go to paychecks for me or anybody else on the team. And uh, if you just watch to the end, Thank you for that as well. If you're just sending us energetic love and support, we do appreciate that as well. Every little bit makes a difference, and we are grateful for all of our supporters, everybody that's followed our work. So thank you. And until next